Howdy folks, I'm Dean DeLeo. And I'm Chester Bennington. We're from STP, and you are watching Artisan News. With Stone Temple Pilots and Scott Weiland duking it out in court, the group was quiet when it came to the details of the actual suit. Lately, Weiland has been touring solo and the remaining members of STP say they had no choice but to carry on with Lincoln Park's Chester Bennington at the helm. STP was a barely functional band when they toured last year, but when in 2013 the prospect of a tour in support of the anniversary of CORE came about, Weiland decided to run with the idea himself and do a Purple to the CORE tour, playing only songs from that era. Knowing Weiland's plan to make money without STP, the group subsequently fired Scott and quickly enlisted longtime STP fan and Lincoln Park singer Chester Bennington to kick off a new chapter for the group. When Weiland's lawyers attempted to block radio stations from playing the Chester Helm single out of time, STP's people quickly countersued Scott, claiming that the singer is obstructing the livelihood of his former bandmates by celebrating the anniversary solo. Dean and Robert DeLeo, along with drummer Eric Kretz, claim that Scott is appropriating the songs in the band's name to further his solo career, and that he has damaged the band's reputation due to his erratic behavior that has caused them to miss opportunities throughout the years. Scott is counterclaiming that he can't be fired because they signed an agreement, and both have presented the other with cease and desist orders, with Wyland saying Stone Temple Pilots shouldn't be using the name without him. Dean DeLeo couldn't comment on the suit directly, but he corroborated his brother Robert's statements in the press that they had no other choice but to move on with a new, more reliable and committed singer to the band. Oh yeah, absolutely, man. Yeah. You know, it was uh, one man's actions that led to another man's decision. With the original lineup playing shows last year, we asked Dean when the communication started to break down with Scott. <laughs> Uh, 1994? <laughs> yeah. You know, it's interesting because I think that, like, with this particular case, just as a fan, you know, kind of knowing secondhand what was going on with these guys, you, know, you always hoped things would come together and they could start being, you know, really creative and productive. But that's one of the reasons why it was easy for me to say yes, it was because I knew that these guys, in some way or another, had tried in many different ways for a long, long time um, to, to get things to work. These guys really have, you know, on, on all fronts, have really tried to do things the right way. And so, yeah. um, you know, this is the way things are going to go from now on. Yeah, and the communication never broke down between the three of us, meaning Robert, Eric, and myself, you know. There's always been an immense amount of respect and love and honor and commitment. And it just, um, yeah. You know, there's only, only so much, man. I, just, I, I can go to my grave saying I, I gave it my all. Check back as we'll have Chester Bennington's take on joining STP, balancing his two bands, and the writing relationships within each scenario. We'll also have the scoop on the group's latest EP, High Rise, which is due October 8th.